What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create your very first macro. Alright, so what you want to do first is open up Excel. And we can go ahead and go to new and then open up a new blank workbook. So we can go ahead and save this. So save as in whichever folder you choose and then you can call it whatever you want we'll call this first macro and then the save as type is going to be Excel macro enabled workbook alright so you also want to add a developer tab by default, you won't have a developer tab up here, but what you can do is go here to your toolbar, go to more commands, and you want to go to customize ribbon, and on the right here where it says developer, you just want to check that box. So now you can press OK, and you'll now have a developer tab. Um, a fast way to get to VBA to actually record the macro is just to use Alt F11. That'll take you right there. But you can also go to View Code from the Developer tab. Let me move this over here. So remember, it was Alt plus F11. That'll take you here. Or you can also go to Developer tab and then View Code. So in the VBA editor, what you want to do is right-click on your VBA project and you can do insert module so now we, we can work from module one so we'll call this sub first macro you can just press enter so you can't actually have a a space like that you'll get an error to connect two words you have to use an underscore so we'll do something simple we'll just go ahead and create a message box and then in the message box we'll do we'll say hello world and for any 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 words that you use any string you always have to put these quotations around them so uh, it doesn't matter what you type, you have to put quotations around it for, the, for it to be considered a string, for it to, for it to work. So we've got hello world. And we can run it by pressing this here. And you see you have a message box that says hello world. We can also run it if we click run. And we can also run it from the workbook itself from the developer tab oh no sorry from the view tab we'll go to macros view macros and press run hello world so very quick very simple um, just to run through it again you want to make sure you save your workbook as an ex a macro enabled workbook and then you want to add the developer tab then to access VBA you can click Alt F11 or you can go to developer tab and click the view code in order to create a macro you want to add a module by right clicking VBA project and then insert module and then from the module is where you're gonna write your code and you have to use a sub 
give yourself a name, but the name can't have a space. If you want to separate words, you have to use an underscore. And then we just did a simple message box. And then our message was, hello world. And you can run your macro from the VBA editor or from the Excel file itself. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a good one.